Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Distant Worlds Universe, our pirate playthrough. Alright, well now this, uh, on this, uh, we'll say in this playthrough here, ooh, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do because we are just losing cash. We are, we're losing money pretty badly. Uh, so I think this episode here will be, um, I'll be recording everything, but I'll probably be, probably be jumping in and out, uh, doing a lot of cutting, trying to uh, find new, uh, we'll say, revenue streams. I, I could go ahead and cut some spending and stuff. Uh, basically, I'm going to take a look at uh, our current situation and see uh, if there are what uh, the best way to uh, to tackle this will be. So uh, I'll be uh, I'll be right back with you. I just need to do a little bit of um, a little bit of assessing. All right, so I've looked over things a little bit here, uh, and I think it's uh, there, there's. Um, last time I kind of, uh, when I left, I kind of had myself, uh, sort of set up kind of the way I wanted. Uh, you know, we, we had our, our dead, our, our giant, our giant fleet, which we were going to use to just sort of crush everything with overwhelming firepower. Uh, unfortunately, they're all out of fuel, and they're on, on their way back to, uh, get repaired and refueled, and, uh, so th th they're going to be out of the action for a little bit. But what I want to do is I want to, uh, get my, uh, my stuff organized a little bit. Like, uh, for instance, what do we have here? We've got, like, what, two fleets over Mortal 2? I want to pick the one with the highest firepower. So, it looks like the 6th fleet uh, and the 7th fleet. Now, the 6th fleet, I, you know, I do want to be able to use them. Um, see, this is, the, this is the tough part because I, I need to protect this planet. This here is like my, this is my home planet, right? This is this is the planet we've got our criminal network set up on. And it's, uh, it's imperative. It's incredibly important that we uh, maintain security on this planet. I don't think, though, that we necessarily need the 6th fleet. I think the 7th fleet, you know, with one capital ship, this kind of firepower would be uh, just fine for it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start renaming some of the fleets so I, I know what they're they're supposed to be used for. Uh, so we're going to say the 7th, uh, and then we're going to call this the um, Homeworld Defense Fleet. And that way there, we we know uh, we that it's supposed to be there to... Uh, protect uh, Mortal Loot 2. And we'll select the fleet, uh, switch its uh, stance to defense, and we'll, we'll send it to the sector. And that way there, uh, and we'll actually, we'll, auto, we'll go ahead and automate them. That way there, uh, if we, uh, since I have my uh, fleet postures on, we can see that they will uh, defend anything within that sector. Now that's cool. Uh, that's, uh, I think that that's good. We will keep them in there. Now, um, they're defended. Uh, we have a home base. Not, not to be confused with the, the home Home world. There we go. I was like, what did I call it again? Um, and we have the home base defense. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and put them on automated as well. Because they are supposed to be uh, defending uh, this area. However, they don't seem... Uh, that's right, because I don't have them... Uh, I, I haven't told them where their home uh, home base is. And I don't think I can. Uh, because there is... Uh, they, you can only select a colony. You can't select, uh, a, you know, an actual uh, a base. Mm, so maybe I shouldn't automate them. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave them automated, and uh, we'll see what they do. Hopefully, they'll stick around the uh, Bounty Hunter's Fortress, uh, where they should they should be. Uh, that's still a very, very important place to us. I don't want, I'm not abandoning the, abandoning that completely. I should probably put some a little bit better uh, defense on that, but um, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, so where are my next areas that I, I want to focus on? Well, uh, looking at the enemy targets, most of them are outside of this this sort of central area. I want to sort of um, at least secure the center center part. And actually, if we take a look at the galaxy map, it's kind of we kind of want to own the center of the galaxy. That's that's where we want to control. Um, so I think that's going to be our goal. Now, part of the part of this is um, these uh, um, these fleets, these uh, um, these ruined fleets. Uh, these oh God, what do you call these? Sorry, had a, a scam phone call. Uh, anyways, uh, we need. Uh, I've got a couple fleets uh, operating here now. Um, now the question kind of comes up here to, to me: Do I need to have this many fleets uh, operating in this uh, system? What, what do we have? We have the second and the first fleet, um, and uh, both of these have, have two different uh, tasks. Like the second fleet, actually, wh what are they supposed to be doing, really? Like we've got a, uh, a, a resupply ship, and I think that needs to be. Uh, defended. So actually, I'll get um, yeah, I'll get the second fleet to go ahead and refuel, and they'll probably uh, we'll get them to rejoin with the uh, 
the, the resupply ship. I kind of actually know we kind of need to leave the resupply ship uh, here for now. So we'll say the second fleet is our resupply fleet, and they're working in conjunction with the first fleet, um, which is uh, providing cover for uh, our construction ships. So let's go ahead and rename some of these as well. So the first fleet is going to be hmm. Okay, we're gonna call them the first recovery fleet. So they're basically uh, flying cover for the recovery of uh, wreckages. The second fleet, we're gonna rename this to um, the second resupply fleet. They're gonna be sort of uh, on defense duty for the resupply ship. Now, uh, let's see, so what does that leave us with? Well, we know dead is supposed to destroy things, so that's what they're for. Uh, right now we have the third, the sixth, and the tenth that don't seem to be allocated to anything in particular. So, let's see what uh, the third fleet, it's got a decent amount of firepower. Uh, we should, you know, this this planet, where is it? Rearm. We haven't been able to really uh, get our hands on this planet. We've been, we've been losing influence on it, uh, and we, we probably should hmm, do something about that. So, Give me a second. I'm going to take a look at, uh, let's see, we've got the third fleet, the sixth fleet. Oh, do we have, yeah, we already have a homeworld defense fleet. So we need to do something with the third, the sixth, and the tenth fleet. All right. Uh, I think this is the way I'm going to go. Uh, this is, I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, so the tenth fleet is going to be a, har uh, a harasser. Uh, I want them to um, mess with the Cyclada Minor uh, Commonwealth, I believe it was. Yes. I want my tenth fleet to be flying missions against them. I want to keep them down as much as possible because I feel like they're... Hmm... Actually, are they are they the biggest threat right now? To let me, If we take a look at the diplomacy screen, actually the Gazurian Hive is probably the most powerful. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use the 10th fleet to uh, harass empires. Uh, and uh, the 3rd and the 6th fleet, I think I'm going to just sort of keep them as, uh, I guess, floaters. <laughs> we'll say I, I'll just use them for my my regular uh, sort of tasks. Uh, you know, maybe things that, that they don't have a predefined task. I can use them for whatever because they've got a decent amount of firepower. You know, I've got some nice capital ships in here. Uh, I want them out uh, doing things. Uh, looks like we just raided Rearm. I want to see. Um... Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd still be in system. Uh, so we stole a bunch of credits. That's great. I do. I, I am curious as to. Um what the condition of Rearm is, so I'm actually going to send the third fleet over there, try to exert a little bit of influence on Rearm. I don't think we can take the planet anymore, I believe it has gotten too, too large. Um, but we'll, we'll go check on them, so the, the third fleet's going to go check on them. The sixth fleet, for the time being, I'm going to keep it here. Uh, I do need to, actually, you know, I do need to pick a target for them. Uh, we do have uh, some targets here. Hmm. There's none that are really close that I feel like, oh. Oh, it's a giant Kaltor. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, it doesn't appear to be automated, though, so. What, let's, oh, wait. Do I want to automate that? What was what was that construction ship doing? I believe that, that construction ship was building, um, if I recall correctly, I, I had queued up some mining um, targets, right? Because uh, when we looked at our expenses, Last time we we noted that uh, one of the largest expenses that we have is uh, purchasing resources, um, and we wanted to get rid of our reliance on you know other pirate factions, other empires to buy our resources. We wanted to get them ourselves. So uh, I, if I recall correctly, the Sneaky Starfire was one of our construction ships that was out there um, that was supposed to be building uh, mining bases. And actually, you know what? Where is it? It's uh, it's in the Rodan Junction Four system. You know, this is a great mission for uh, the 6th Fleet to um, come and deal with. Uh, wait, actually, is it? Is this is this a good uh, resource uh, area? I believe carbon fiber, uh, freedom ale, yeah, I guess. All right, now, um, I believe we came across this here, the secret station, uh, which was way over here. Um, Oh wow, we've actually got one down here too, uh, and I uh, I believe we actually sent out. Did we send out a construction ship to repair this? Yeah, so we technically we've got ourselves a, another small spaceport up here, um, which is fantastic. Is uh, being able to it's it's both fantastic and a bit of a, a bit of a problem because uh, I don't have anything 
to, um... I don't have any resources to dedicate to defend it. Um, okay. I don't, I don't think we can, uh... Mostly colonize a, uh, a marshy swamp, uh, location just yet, so... Uh, I'll leave that for B. Uh, I'll leave that for B. I'll leave that for the time being. So yeah, we've got a couple bases out here, and that that's that is good because they do act as resupply points at least. So that means that that does increase the range of where I can send my ships. Um, having a base over here and having a base up here. Now this does uh, make me feel like I should be expanding out in this direction here, up a little bit. We'll say up into the right. Um, but then again, we have the World Annihilator Project, which actually, yeah, World Annihilator Project. That's something I want to lock down. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I need to be able to keep an eye on that. Where is, uh, I need an exploration ship. There is no mission for this one here. Why are you slowed? The Antar Subterfuge. It's currently slowed. It has full fuel. I don't understand why you're slowed. Why are you slowed? Let me see your components. Everything looks fine. I don't see why the Antar subterfuge is slowed. So, um... Where are you at? You're over here. I'm gonna actually send it over to the World Annihilator Project because I want, um... I wanted to explore the system. I want to get eyes on that... Uh, that project. I want to see how far along it is because eventually I want to move my first and second fleet over here to secure uh, the World Annihilator because, hey, why why wouldn't you want something that can blow up uh, planets? Like like that, that giant ship. That would, that would be that would be fantastic. Uh, let's see. So, Rearm. Uh, we've already raided it. Uh, looks like we're raiding it again. Uh, don't think that would be too successful, but um... It does appear, just based on what I'm seeing here, uh, that uh, it, it's it's reached a point where we we are no longer able to influence it anymore. That's the way it looks to me. Uh, I don't know if that's just because we're currently raiding it, and that's why it's displaying that way. Um, dang, this ship is uh, dark pillagers. They uh, they definitely seem to have, we'll say, a technological edge on us. All right, so I noticed uh, over here, um, I don't know wh wh where I have the eyes. I'm guessing it's one of these um, freighter. Oh, here it is. Uh, our small freighter came over here uh, to get some resources from, uh, I guess, this ga gas mining station. Uh, I say we're going to, I say we send the, um... oh, wait a second. I can't go harass them right now, can I? No, I'm an idiot. Um, I have a, I currently have a protection arrangement with them. Uh, if I attack them, I will be breaking that. So I need to be focusing on the Gazurians. Oh, I, I'm a dork. Okay. I, I'd forgotten about that. Crap. Yeah, because if, 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 if right now, let's, let's, uh, actually, let me take a look at that again. Um, so we're, we're pulling in about 6,108 credits per year. So that, that's what, a 509 credits per month-ish? Does that make sense? I think so. Um, okay, so that's, you know, I, I've always wondered about that. It's always, whenever they're like, it'll, it'll cost you this much. And I've always, uh, you know, when the pirates said that to me when I was playing a, a normal empire, I've always wondered, I'm like, they don't really specify per month or year, what is it? Um, but yeah, here, here we have it right here. So monthly protection, uh, payment, uh, 500. Like I assumed it was monthly, but you know, it's nice to have the, the evidence right here. Um, I don't know who, where these people are. Uh, the East, uh, what's that? What is that? Il, Ishandru Pika Junction Technocracy. Do I have any intelligence agents? I should. Um... Okay, he's decent in espionage. Uh, he's got a plus seven on espionage. He's also got some other traits. Mm, I'm trying to decide who who do we send in. He's he's untested. You know what? We'll try him. Um, so Arl Kitian, we'll send him out to try to get the territory map. Ah, uh, dang, seventy nine. It's it's a risky mission. Okay, I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I'll hold off a bit. I'm gonna see if I can trade 
Um, negotiate a trade proposal. I don't have the option for it. Okay, never mind. Protection arrangement? Oh, they, they, they accepted the offer. All right, awesome. That's an extra 1,512 uh, uh, credits per year. Okay, that's another one we don't have to worry about. They're just going to keep paying us. So we got, we, we, we secured some more revenue. Um, you know what? We should probably uh, do a little bit of dealing here. Can we do, can we do any uh, good uh, trade proposals here? We've, we've got, we can get money off these guys, right? What if we uh, sell some like secret locations or uh, even like locations of um, communication with other unknown empires, you know? We, we, yeah, we could we could be like inform we we should be we should be information brokers here. Here, I think that's 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 a, a fair trade. We'll, we'll put you into contact with another empire. Once again, we're gonna have to <laughs> to, to sort of uh, haggle with them a little bit. They don't like taking uh, fair deals. All right, for two thousand, we put them in contact with another empire. Now, it's probably not the best idea for, if I really think about it, because uh, the more they get in contact with each other, the more. Um, they can, you know, twist our arms and stuff like that. Oh, cool. All right, so I just put them in uh, contact with the Gazurian Hive. Yeah, someone had mentioned this in the, the comments. I'm sorry, I, I the, the name the name escapes me. And uh, it was a sure really good suggestion. They're like, you know, you should be trading stuff more. You, you know, you're wasting uh, a lot of your... Uh, in a way, you're... Like, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but basically, you know, you're wasting a lot of your, your time and stuff. You, you could be... You know, you have the advantage at the beginning of the game. Take advantage of this... Uh, you know, start selling this information. Um, and I'm like, well, yeah, why, why am I not doing that? Like, hey, I want you want to get in touch with the Gazurian Hive? 10,000 credits. You don't have the money? Well, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We've got a consolation prize for you. How about I put you in contact with these guys for... Oh, that's all you've got. Yeah, sure. I'll let it go for that price. There we go. And, like... That should bring <laughs> bring up our money a little bit, um, at least we'll say while we while we wait for uh, some of our other uh, fleets to get uh, back online and um, expand a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the diplomacy screen. I'm gonna go through all of our people here and see if I can't uh, put together some deals uh, with them for information. All right. So basically, I sold a bunch of uh, location uh, information to the Gazurian Hive. Uh, mostly, uh, basically, you know, uh, planets, uh, other empire uh, contacts. They have a ton of money, and I figure, you know, if they if, if they get exploration ships out there, they're just gonna figure it out on their own. Um, so I figured I might as well be able, I might as well profit from it. And uh, oh, there we go. We're, we we are now cash positive. Uh, that's that's fine. I have a feeling we're still going to be uh, losing a ton of money. Uh, so I'll need to make some, uh, some more deals. Um. I, yeah, I'll have to make some some, uh, some more deals with uh, people. Um, let me take a look at my uh, my what my construction ships are doing. We were trying to get uh, let's see resources, right? So let's see what what uh, resources that are not luxury. We're, we're we're still looking at strategic resources here. Do we have the lowest supply of? Uh, it looks like dilithium crystal. Um, I don't know what the demand is for that though. Uh, unfulfilled. Actually, you know, maybe we'll look at that. We'll look at unfulfilled. Um, so the most unfulfilled uh, is actually carbon fiber. Uh, and uh, I believe we wanted to originally. Um, let's see. Let's actually. I, I can. I can filter by it. Uh, where is carbon fiber? There we go. All right, so uh, let's see. Distance. We want the nearest one, Pentalumen Two. It's it's actually a little ways out, um, but I think we'll send out a uh, let's see, carbon for sixty nine. It's not the best source. This one here is probably the best one, and it's uh, yeah. We've already got uh, we've already got the sneaky Starfire building a mining station there. Let's try let's try this one here as well because it also it also has polymer which is one of our top uh, one of the top three unfulfilled. So we'll also send the happy bargain over uh, there. So we got two construction ships out um, building mining stations, uh, and I, I just want to make sure that um, I didn't reassign this one here. This uh, 
The Solar Venture. Okay, that's the one that's currently working on the cruiser. Okay, cool. How, how long before this uh, this cruiser is done? Only two damage, so this sucker's going to be joining our fleets very soon. No! Alright, so our research on uh, point defense weapons has been set back. That sucks. Oh well. Alright, so my advisors are telling me to build a, a hidden pirate base uh, on a, in a Kuro 4, over here in uh, the uh, Kuro's territory. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the name of the, 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 that's not the name of the faction, that's obviously the green ones here, but uh, the, the race is, uh, that's typically the, uh, Ikoro? Yeah, it's Ikoro something usually. Uh, we don't have that money, unfortunately. Um, and we've already lost it. Now, now part of me was like, you know what, I, I just want to get a, a ton of money, I should go back and start doing a little bit more. Ooh. Now, we can't let that, you know, see, this, this, this cannot be allowed. The Kazurian Hive looks like it is... Um, we got a mining station kind of down here. Uh, I need to keep the center area, uh, enter area, listen to me talk, um, uh, area sort of secure from that. So we're going to send the sixth fleet over here. We got the sixth fleet over there, uh, to destroy that mining base. We, I, I, they have the way of darkness. They are definitely going to be the most dangerous, uh, faction we're going to face off against, uh, and uh, given our score right now, you know, we're really not doing the best. Uh, I think I think we will die. And I think we will die because of the Gazurians. The Gazurians right now uh, are, are, are sort of, um, they're setting themselves up to, to really be the, the dominant faction uh, by the end of this uh, this game. So we, we may die, but you know, I want to put up a good fight. I want to, I, I, I want to try to do my best. Uh, at, at this. I've already made it further into this uh, pirate playthrough than I have um, made it in any other um, playthrough. I've already I've already survived longer. So, um, you know what? I'm going to increase the tax a little bit on Mortaloo 2. Actually, wait, let me let me see. Uh, income. Control colonies. Is that is that what it falls under? I'm guessing. I still can't quite figure out how the tax on this works. Uh, okay, let, let's try a different value. Let's try 10%. 10% tax. See wh what uh, what that does. So right now, it's at 10. This, this number is going to update in just a second. I'll speed up time for just a bit. 1K. So that means we're getting 1K. So let's see. So 10% of... Uh, if, we're, if we're doing some rounding. So that would be 10K. I spent a bunch of time, in the, I think in the last episode, trying to figure out the calculation of how we come to this 1k. Uh, like, how, how, how is this, this, uh, this income here? Uh, okay, you know what, maybe, maybe, maybe I've got it. So, the GDP is a 25k. So, 25k, and then we'll say, uh, if there's 30% corruption, then that's 30% we don't get. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I was gonna try again. I pulled out the calculator because basically I I, uh, I took the the GDP and I subtracted the thirty percent that we didn't get, and then I said, okay, well, only eighty nine percent of that, uh, and what does that come up to? And it came up to like fifteen k. So I'm like, I still don't, or yeah, I still don't understand. Whatever. Uh, if somebody if somebody knows the the calculation, how to figure out how much. Um, how to figure out how much, like, how, because I, I want to figure out how to maximize my, my taxes here, right? Because uh, I have it at 10%. Uh, that hasn't affected the populace at all. You know what? There's, there's one surefire way to do this. 100%. Oh, wait, no, they're going to hate me. They're going to rebel. We don't want that. Um, okay, 50%. They, they, they're probably still going to rebel. Never mind. I was going to say, if I go under 100%, uh, then I'll know exactly how much. Um... But no, that that's dumb because, yes, <laughs> because it's dumb. Uh, so they definitely took a happiness hit. Um, we'll see what twenty five percent equals. So twenty five percent equals four k apparently. So actually, maybe that maybe that works. So twenty five percent, um, four k. We we multiply four by four, and we end up with sixteen k, which is approximately the number I came up with. So we take this number, minus the corruption, and then multiply that by the compliance, 
and that's approximately how much of a pool you have to go from. And then 25% of that is the 4K. Ah, maybe that's how it goes. But right now the growth on the planet is crap, so we're going to go back down to like... Uh, 10%, I think. Uh, I did notice, let's see. Okay, so we, we've got our, our, our fleet over Rearm in there shooting things. Um... Yeah, we, we need to get the Dark Pillagers out of our territory. Oh, I was right. I, I forgot we got a colony ship here. Um, colonized planet uh, Column 3. Uh, Column 3 does not have any defense there right now. Hmm. Third fleet is fighting stuff. Sixth fleet. You know what? Sixth fleet, change course. I... I I lost uh, track of uh, the time because you know it was it was taking a while for that to happen. So we'll have the sixth fleet go up there, secure the system, and then we're gonna have uh, another planet, uh, and hopefully that will help out a little bit as well. Then we're gonna probably have to expand up here and take out uh, this pirate faction. Uh, we will we will get we will get to the uh, the Gazurians mining uh, station eventually, um, probably when uh, the dead fleet finally uh, gets uh, refueled. Yeah, we should probably invest in. Okay, I I am I am working on enhanced storage. Okay, yeah, because my my fuel systems I definitely don't have enough uh, enough uh, fuel uh, on my ships. I, I, we don't have the range. These these frigates and destroyers like they're small ships, um, and that's part of the reason why they don't have any range to them. Uh, I suppose they could have actually. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why are they all going down there? Why don't I send them over here? It looks like there's something else actually. Okay, there we go. Oh, why don't I send them over... Refuel all ships. Um... At Tired Victory. It's much closer... ...than going all the way back. If I send them there, I can get them all refueled. Now, these two ships do need to be repaired. So I'll send them off, uh... Those, those two off to, uh, be repaired. But at least the rest of the ships can get refueled over here at a Tired Victory. Um, nah, crap. I, sh I, I wanted to see uh, what uh, what uh, fleet that was. It was a light. It was a light blue color, right? So maybe the Gr uh, Grim Rock, Rock Force. Yeah, because if it was a if it was a new faction, they would have popped up on this list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really feel like an idiot. There, there's just so much money to be. Uh, made just through selling information. Uh, I, that's something I have to remember uh, in uh, future uh, future playthroughs. Is definitely um, you know get exploration ships off the bat and start selling that to empires because uh, like if we just take a look at our um, the summary screen and we look at the the income from um, selling information, we've made what like over one hundred twenty three thousand uh, and. Yeah, that that that's good. <laughs> uh, like, I, I, it, it's it's a uh, it's a tough thing though because you, you have to weigh out the, the benefits, you know, the, and that because uh, if you're telling empires about these these things that they're they're interested in, they're gonna want to come for it. So you you have to kind of look around at your territory and say, okay, I don't want to tell anyone about um, like this, for example. I don't want anyone in the the, the Kaifer system or the World Annihilator project. We definitely don't want them knowing about that. Uh, so, it, it's, uh, it's definitely a balance. It's definitely something that you need to be, uh, to sort of, sort of weigh your options with. Oh, crap, what's going on here? Uh, cruiser. Oh, this is, must be the one that just got repaired. Okay, crap. You idiot, uh, you know what, join, um, join the nearest fleet. So you are now part of the third fleet. So we we have a cruiser here uh, above Rearm, Um that's fighting off pirates from the Issian bandits. Ah oh, man, I'm getting I'm getting tired of that name. Uh, but that that actually works out in, in just in time because the third fleet was getting kind of beat up. So it's kind of nice that we've got a, a cruiser in there as well. Uh, but that does tell me that the uh, the Kiefer, uh debris field does not have a current project. Um. I, I could use me another capital ship. What about you guys? What do you think? Capital ship? I, I think capital ship. So we'll get that construction ship over there, working on that. 
Um, and we'll watch as our uh, the third fleet should be able to, to handle this. Yeah, uh, Rearm definitely seems to be pretty contested. Um, there's all kinds of pirate factions coming over here, and it's hard to hang on to. And um, yeah, I don't think we can control this planet. We're, we're beyond the point of being able to control it. Uh, but raiding it is still an option. So it's still it's there's still value to us if we can hang on to, if we can secure this area and keep other pirates away. Um, just because you know now if we stick around here, we can we can still raid the planet and uh, get some resources. Because as it is, you know, we're, we're still losing money. Um, and part of me is like, you know what, just go keep selling information. Uh, but if I sell too much information, you know, I'm not, that money kind of goes to waste in a way. In a way, because I'm not actually buying anything with it. Uh, but on the other hand, if I, if, if I use that money to sort of sell down my, my debt, if you will, uh, then that means that eventually when I do start becoming, was well, like cash positive, uh, then, um, if that's the proper term, I don't think, what, whatever. You, basically, when I start making money, net pause, what, whatever. <laughs> uh, then, uh, you know, then I'll be able to start spending money uh, sooner. All right, so yeah, uh, the third fleet's going to be fighting off uh, guys there, and uh, crap, it actually looks like this this colony ship is going to arrive there before the sixth fleet. Um, all right, I want to see what happens here. I, I'm uh, I'm actually out of time, but I want to see if this will be uh, successful. Oh man, I'm so str uh Yes! Nobody's there! Nobody's there! Alright. So, I, I was scared something would be waiting in system for them. Now, what, what do we got here? Lone Star Council. Okay. Alright, there we go. An, a, a nice successful raid. Uh, so, we've got a colony ship heading for the, the planet. Um, Rearm, where are you at? Down here. Um, so, we're still fighting over that. It's still been recently raided, so we can't raid it again. Alright, I, I want to... We're gonna have to uh, destroy this, anyways. This operation, um, because we're gonna we're gonna take over this this system here. Uh, this is our first uh, planet that we will be uh, grabbing with a uh, a colony a colony uh, ship. Uh, the other one was uh, you know we 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 set up a criminal network, so I'm kind of curious how this one works. I, I'm, I'm I suspect it's gonna work the same way as the other one. It's. Uh, we're still not going to get the full amount of the uh, not going to get still not going to get the full income that uh, that you know an empire would get. All right, exciting. Watch it go. Come on. Yes, go, 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 my little colony ship. Yes, column three has been colonized. Um, <laughs> that would suck if they just they rebelled and they they, they left. I'd be like, oh, you know what, you suck. Uh, the fierce moon company. Offers a truce between our two rival factions. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to. Well, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, column three. All right, so it looks about the same. We don't we don't get any cool fancy borders, but there we go. We have another planet uh, that we can uh, start to build up. We're gonna keep the taxes at zero. That's gonna actually that's gonna be a bit of a a, a monetary drain on us for the time being. Huh. It's uh, it's interesting because a lot of the uh, systems that um, you know, let's blow this up. A lot of the systems that you you learn while playing the uh, the Empire game, you know um, how money works or you know scarcity of resources and stuff. I find with uh, a regular Empire game, you don't need to worry about them as much. Uh, they're not as big of a deal. But the second you start playing a pirate playthrough, it's like you need to be doing all this micromanaging. You need to be looking at all the little details. And even as it is, I'm uh, I feel like I'm. I'm zipping through the game a little bit uh, too quickly. I'm I'm ignoring things. I'm missing things, which is probably why I you know typically lose um, at this. I you know I could go ahead and pause, but I I, I like to maintain uh, that that sort of rule, that personal rule that I had uh, established with the first game. I like it when the game just keeps keeps sort of running. Um, you know, if if I can't react fast enough to something, uh, then I. Kind of feel like you know what it's my fault for not being prepared in the first place, or for you know fast forwarding a little bit too uh, too frequently. Yeah. Anyways, like I did say, I am out of time, so we're gonna have to quit and we're gonna have to end things here. So yeah, uh, next time uh, probably a little bit more of the same. Um, you know, the, the, there's been a, a few little developments. It's mostly been macro level. 
Uh, we now know that the Gazurians are kind of moving down this area here. We do have uh, one of their mining stations, which we do want to eventually wipe out. We've established another colony. Um, as it stands, we've got arrangements with most of the, oh, actually all the empires except for the Xurian Hive. Uh, so we're not, we're not going to be harassing the kingdoms. We're trading information with them. So, you know, there's, there's been some things that happened. Maybe, maybe some of them have been just sort of cut out, but yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. This is definitely uh, very interesting. Oh yes, the dead fleet. Are you guys all, uh, refueled or have you just got there? Yeah, they've just arrived. All right. So they, they should be ready to blow something up next time. Um, hey, maybe the mining station. Anyways, until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.